Assalamu alaikum, I'm Pavel and I welcome you all to the sixth video of the Calculus P tutorial series. In this video, we will learn about infinite limit and rational function. In the previous video, we already learned something about the application of infinite limits in rational functions. In this video, we will discuss about case two. That is, uh, you can see on the screen that whenever in a rational function, the degree of P of X is equal to the degree of Q of X, that is the degree in the numerator and the degree in the denominator is equal and in that particular case what will be the uh, outcome of infinite limit so let's see some examples suppose we have a problem like this limit extends to infinity 3x square plus 7x and in the denominator we have 4x square minus 5x suppose we have this problem so as you can see this is infinite limit that is x tends to positive infinity and the degree in the numerator is 2 and degree in the denominator is also 2. So we are in case 2 that is the degree are equal. So what we do, do here is that if you already watched the previous video we know that we need to divide both the terms in the numerator and in the denominator. So here we will divide all the terms with the maximum power that we have here as x square. So we will divide 3x square with x square. So we will get 3 plus 7 divided by x. And if you divide 4x square, you get 4 minus 5 divided by x. So we will end up here. Now the rest of the part is quite easy. This is exactly similar to the concept that we learned in the previous video that is we will apply the variables value here that is we will apply this concept for limit extends to positive infinity c divided by x to the power n this is equal to zero i already discussed this concept in the fourth tutorial so you can watch that if you still have some confusions so using this concept we will uh, get the value of this part as zero also we will get the value of this part equal to 0. So we will end up with 3 divided by 4. I hope you understood it. Now let's solve few more examples so that you have a better and clearer idea. Okay. Let's solve another example. Limit extends to infinity. Suppose we have x cube minus 11 x divided by 3 x cube plus 8 x square suppose we have something like this so here also you can see that the degree in the numerator and the degree in the denominator is equal so we will now calculate rest of the part so for limit x tends to infinity we will apply the same concept like the previous one. So we will divide all the terms with the maximum power that is x cube. So we will get one. If we divide x cube with x cube, we get one minus uh, 11 x divided by x cube. So we will get 11 divided by x square. Here, three x cube divided by x cube. So we will get three plus, if we divide x, eight x square with x cube, we will get eight divided by x. Now you can see that these two parts will be equal to zero like the previous one. Let me repeat limit extends to infinity. So c divided by x to the power n is equal to zero. So this part will be zero, this part will also be zero and we will end up with one divided by c. So this is the answer, right? Now I will show a trick here through which you can solve this type of problems very easily within just one to two seconds okay let's see so if we consider the previous example uh, it was something like this limit x tends to infinity we had uh, 3x square plus something x and here we had 4x square say plus 5x or plus 7x so this is the same as this concept that is the degree in the numerator and the degree in the denominator is equal so in this particular cases the answer will be equal to 
the coefficients of the maximum powers right so in the numerator the maximum power that is x square the coefficient is 3 so we will write 3 here and the coefficient of the maximum power in the denominator is 4 so we will write 4 here you see very easy right here also the coefficient of the maximum power that is x cube the coefficient is 1 so we will write 1 here and for the denominator the coefficient of maximum power that is 3 so we will write 3 1 as simple as that right so i hope you understood the concepts that i discussed so far in this video and we are done with two cases that is we can very easily solve the case where the degree of p of x when it will be equal to the degree of q of x in that particular case the result will be in the numerator the coefficient of the maximum power and also in the denominator the coefficient of the maximum power as simple as that and the previous video we learned that when the degree of p of x is less than degree of q of x in that particular case the result is always zero right now we are left with the third case that is when the degree of p of x will be greater than the degree of q of x so stay tuned with this channel for that concept I hope you already uh, understood whatever I discussed so far.